Well, hello and welcome back and thank you for coming back. Today, as promised, we are in downtown Ayanapa. The harbour is just over there. Have a look at that. And of course, as I come round, that is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea off the beautiful harbour of downtown Ayanapa. It takes your breath away. Now, we're gonna go for a little wander around and we're gonna show you where we're staying. We found a little gem and we really, really have and we're gonna share it with you. But before we do, I wanna introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Ochin Gracivia Labouf. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again, so stick with us. Come on, Gracivia Labouf. Let's take the lovely people with us on a little walk along this rather nice coastal pathway. And then we're going to take you into a little courtyard just off the harbour area. And we're going to show you a little gem amongst gem. And it's where we're staying. And as I say, it's a very, very nice room. It hasn't got all the five star amenities. But hey, why do you want those when you've got that? Feast your eyes and digest those spectacular views off the Ayanapa harbour area. So stick with us, receive the booth. Shall we go and show them our rather nice roof? Yes, I would like to say that uh, these areas around are so well done, so well organised, that you want to come here again and again. Yep, we have come to Ayanapa now again and again, as you may notice. It's our second love. So we're in love with Paphos and now we're in love with Ayanapa. And we're going to come back once a month and make a series of videos. And hopefully you will, well, slowly but surely hunt us around Ayanapa. And slowly but surely, hopefully, you will come to love us in Ayanapa as we are coming to love Ayanapa. It's got something very, very special and a very, very nice vibe indeed. And we are loving our time here. So as I said, once a month, we're going to come down and mosey on down, as we say, and hunt around the fish restaurants, that taverna, the little kiddies areas over there, like Mr. Ojin Grisigal Roof will probably go for a wander over there. But anyway, this is the way straight from the beach up to where we are staying. And this is what we want to show you. So we are literally a few seconds from the harbour. We're actually in the harbour, if you understand us, but from the actual plage, as you say. So I'm going to keep the camera now to show you. There's a beautiful little church coming into the viewfinder now. And as you can see behind that, there is a parade of shops. In fact, Oching Receiver Le Booth purchased a hat in one of those shops only last time that we were here. And you've got plenty of car parking around this area as well. There's a great car park to the left, which is totally free of charge. And there is a fish house. And that's the fish Does house the restaurant. Fish live there? Well, not for long because we're gonna go there afterwards and eat them. Oh. That's for sure. So you've got the fish house restaurant over there, you've got the Vassos restaurant over there, you've got the Glow Star Boutique. I've no doubt Christine Labou's gonna go and leave my wallet of some money in there. You've got another nice taverna over there, this beautiful quaint white church, and then just behind there, if you're looking now. You can probably see three sails on the upper floor. Well, that's where we're going to take you because that's where we're staying. In one of these rather nice suites. We've got a coffee shop called Second Cup right next door to us. And we're going to go up these steps. And as tradition goes, well, we're going to follow the rear end of Misochi and Grisivialda Booth. Ocean Dream Suites. That's where we are. And that's where we're going to hang out for this long bank holiday weekend. We think that we found an absolute little gem. This is our room, 202, Grisivi. We don't think, we are sure that we do, did find the apartments of our dream. Yeah, let me show you the view again. Just so you understand that we're not lying as to how close we are to the beautiful blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. So we walked up the little pathway over there. There's the Vassos restaurant, there's the Fish House restaurant, there's the Second Cup coffee shop there's another Isaac Taverna there right on our doorstep and there's the rather nice car park provided by the municipality just there and if you look very very carefully over there you will see my scruffy dirty Mercedes parked up it's not dirty, Mr. well it is dirty it's filthy it wants a very good wash that's for sure anyway let's get in there Come on, Stevie. 
you wiggle and waggle that on the door oh, on. and see if it'll let us in. There we go. Stick with us. She's going to pop that Hello, into the. Everybody. <laughs> How nice to see you again in our room. Stick that into the slot, receive it. And let's get some power on. There we go. So it's all powered up now. And again, we've got this rather nice window which shows you, again, straight out to that blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. We are but 50 meters maximum. So in the morning, we're going to go and have a little morning swim. And if you're very, very lucky, well, we may take you with us. So what have we got in our little suite? A rather nice sofa, which is open out to a bed, obviously, if you need it to. Some nice tables. We've got a suitcase rack, which most hotels do provide, but I've noticed of late, the last two hotels we've been into, they did not. Receiver Le Bouffe has been presented with a bottle of wine yes. by the host. And for the ladies, or the men with hair that is, you get a hair dryer. We obviously have a kettle, various teas, coffees and sugars. Receiver Le Bouffe has brought her dancing chachotchka boots with her. <laughs> so a bit later on, perhaps we might go dance the night away. Plenty of room for the bits and bobs. And of course, that's the place where, shall we say, the action might take place later. We'll watch a bit of TV and, well, you never know what might happen. You never know. You never know. I could be lucky. You never know. Right. A rather nice TV on the wall. Plenty of room for that weekend. An extra blanket up there. Very good air conditioning, by the way. We actually have a nice little fridge with a little top freezing compartment. So I'll be popping out to get some Coca-Cola afterwards. We've got a security lock box. We've got an iron. And the smart-eyed people amongst us, like Mr. Ian, will have noticed that we've actually got an ironing board as well. And then, something I think is very, very nice indeed. Have a look at that. A massive shower with a rainforest shower, a normal shower, and of course the normal conventional tap system. Plenty of room for the bits and bobs. Christina the booth has bought her conditioner, her shampoo, and I bought my shower gel. I do like my shower gel. And the next door to that is the rather nice little toilet area. Spotlessly clean toilet, by the way, and a rather nice basin. Plenty of shelving for all of your bits and bobs. Receive the boost for the rather nice well, bathroom bag with us, shall we say? Very, very nice little bathroom indeed. So that's the long shot. And there is the most beautiful woman in the world, Miss Ochin, receiving our La Bouffe. So let's go and see what she's actually got to say. What's her honest opinion of this humble little hotel room well it's a suite should we say yes if you're ready to visit different sort of restaurants bars cafeterias and walk around the plages plage and if you're ready not to overload yourself with the half board terms let me say let me shall I say then you better choose this very apartments which are great locations it's amazing how close you are to everything and uh, of course uh, mr paul in the morning have you showed the coffee center we've got tea and coffee yeah. facilities <clears throat> and i mean in the morning you can have your coffee tea but if you're hungry and you don't want to overload yourself you just become in a very very good shape uh, walking around chatting, cheating, drinking coffee, whatever is, everything nearby, and swim, swim, because the sea salt is a very good for you. This is what I'm saying. Then come to the apartments. I would, I would suggest it to all of you, if the case is that. Well, I think what Christine Labouf is saying she is, if you want to lounge by the pool and do all that sunbathing, which a lot of people do, that's your choice. The hotels are for you. To be honest, for us, it's not. We tend to be walking around with a camera, as you may have noticed, making our silly little videos, which we are very, very pleased that a lot of people like to watch. So we don't really have that much time to use the indoor pool, although I do like an indoor pool. We don't have that much time to use the outdoor pool, the spas, 
and all of these bits and bobs. So we've decided from now on that we're going to find these kind of places, not because they're cheaper, but because they're in the heart and the soul of the place. And perhaps a lot of people do like to wander around. A lot of people don't lounge by the pools. They just stay in a hotel and then go for a wander. So this could be one of those great, great places for you to come. We're going to come here again, like I've said. But then once we've tired out this area, we found another similar idea up the top of Iron Alpha and another similar idea that way. And we're going to look for one that way. And we're going to start to look for these kind of properties in and around Ionapa, in and around Paphos, Limassol and Larnaca. And you never know, we may find the perfect, perfect place for you to come and have that perfect, perfect holiday. Now, receiving the booth, shall we walk back out to the blue, 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 blue yes. Mediterranean yes. Sea? So please, please come with us and we're going to take you and show you the greatest, greatest <coughs> view in the world. Receiving the booth has just closed the rather thick yeah. sunshades because obviously... That sun is going to cook this room, but we opened it up because it's a little bit dark. Although it does look that little bit, should we say, sexier now. I'm talking about sexier. There's the sexiest woman <laughs> in the world, Miss Hodgson. You said Miss Roxanne, as I knew. <laughs> <laughs> She's the sexiest girl in the yeah. downtown Kedo Paphos Harbour, that's yeah. for sure. But I've always got a beauty on my arm, and her name is Miss Hodgson, Receive the Alibi. Doesn't get much better than that. I'm going to take the key card with us. There we yes, are. The power, by the way, stays on for five minutes after you've moved the card, which is quite clever because in most places I've ever stayed, when you pull the key card out, it goes black. And you can wash your uh, yeah. socks, whatever. You've got a place you want. to do your washing. Yeah. Just... And a rather nice little seating area. So in the morning, I'm going to pop down to that place which is there. That's called the Second Cup Coffee Shop. Get ourselves two rather nice co coffees. Mine will be a hot latte with one sugar. And of course, hers will be an Americano and a couple of croissants. And we'll come back and we'll be sitting right there for our morning video, shall we say? And then after that, well, we're going to take you over to that. The blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. So if you stick with us, we're going to take you back to that right now. And as tradition goes, well, we're going to follow the rear end of Miss Ochin Recivia La Bouffe. There she is. Now, there's a bit of a tradition on this channel because the sky is blue, the sea is blue, I'm dressed head to toe in blue, Ochin Recivia La Bouffe has got a lot of blue on today, so all that's actually missing is you. Get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy because Cyprus is simply waiting just for you. She's a very, very good actress indeed. She's learned her lines to absolute perfection. So stick with us. We're going to take you on a little mosey on down straight back to the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And it truly is an absolutely spectacular day today. And if you're wondering, by the way, if you've stuck with us and you're wondering what time of year it is, well, we are at the very, very back end of October. When we go back to beautiful Paphos in a couple of days, the clocks will be going back or forward or whatever it is. End of October anyway. So the temperature today in Ayanapa, when we pulled up at one o'clock, by the way, was 30 degrees on the dashboard on the Mercedes. And as I always say, my German girl, the Mercedes, she doesn't lie. And to be honest, I am starting to sweat that little bit and she is starting to Perspire. Perspire. That Mr. little bit. Paul, have you seen all these flags? Have we seen all these flags? Yeah. Well, European flags, Greek flags, all sorts of flags going on. That's the little church. And then just behind the little church, if I go back again, you can just see the lower floor. And of course, you can just see up above the top floor. And that's the room where we're staying. Stick with us. We're going to take you to that. As I was saying, it's about 50 metres. So it doesn't get much better than that. And if you're curious to know what we've paid, and we haven't had a special deal, we've had a reasonable deal, as we would say, we've paid him 50 euros a night. Yep, you heard me correctly, 50 euros a night. Or as I would say, chump change for what we're getting, that's for sure. I'm not saying you can't get a cheaper room, you probably can. But I don't think you can get a room cheaper than that and within, well, 30 seconds, be at the blue, blue, 
blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. I say in the morning, we invite you to come back and we're going to make a little video sitting on our terrace having a cup of coffee. And then after that, well, Graciela LaBeouf has promised to get into her bikini and she's going to come down here and she's going to have a little paddle in that blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And I've promised the world that I am going to film her rear end. So you're going to get a great, great morning view, that's for sure. Graciela LaBeouf. Well, I would like to tell you many, many thanks for watching, for being with us, and I'm more than sure that you would enjoy the views with us. So we are loving you to be, and don't forget to come and see another of our madnesses. Many, many kisses from the bottom of our two hearts, and bye-bye. What's left me says, thanks for watching, and of course, if you like what you see, please hit the like click subscribe and come back for a little bit more of our madness if you'd like to see the channel go further and further afield please please consider going through to our about page where you could consider buying me or her or both of us a coffee because there's one sure thing about this Helen you'll always get a great great view of the most beautiful woman in the world Misochin Gracivia Labouf because the channel is about three things it's about those views your views and of course my views thanks for watching